Well, looky here, the Imperial City. Well, a landing bay. Anyway, ah, we have been quite busy. Explored old ruins. Uh, met up with a demon, a befriend of the demon. Uh, killed two generations of Gao. And... Oh, an Inquisitor as well. Now we're in the Imperial City. Which we were greeted by the... Empress's daughter, Emperor's daughter, I believe, or princess, sorry, uh, Sun Lan, Sun Li, one of them anyway. Huh, and now we just need to go meet her. Well, that's unfortunate, I forgot where she wants me to meet her now. The Heavenly Lily. Silk Fox is, in fact, Princess Sun Lian. Okay, the Heavenly Lily, the daughter of the Emperor's son, Hai, and heir to the throne of the Jade Empire. She seems to have developed a personal interest in you, though she clearly is down to manipulating others to further her own goals. It may be a challenge to get along with such a strong-willed individual. Meet Princess Leanne at the location specified in the note, the Scholar's Garden in the Imperial City, and learn what she has in store for you. That's where we unlock her as a companion, I believe, or very close to it, as you can tell here. These are secret stuff. I don't know what the last one is. That is not a good picture. But, uh... I'm gonna have a quick talk to people again because everyone has something to say now. Because why not? I can't talk to you. Don't know why. Let's start with Henpecked Ho. I can't believe my luck. I arrive home after being lost, only to find that my wife has gone off to visit relatives. You lucky soul. And for you be happy. I am very happy indeed. Instead of dying upon my return home, I am free. Until she returns, of course. Look at the positives. What do you all that? Uh, what are your thoughts on our situation? We made it this far. How hard can it be from here? From what I've seen, you're more than capable of handling anything we're likely to encounter. Indeed. Maybe I could buy a shirt here. Why did why did you become a bun master if you were a master fighter? You're beginning to sound like my wife. Where were you last night? Why were you talking to that woman? Why do you smell like a goat? Always with the question. As I mentioned earlier, after becoming tournament champion for the second time, I was forced to marry my sponsor's nubile niece. She is the reason I no longer fight. My disapproving dove did not care for my drinking, or for my friends, or my fighting, or my friends fighting. She believed I should settle down, be more respectable. Uh huh. And so you became a bun master. Who? You need to learn to stand up for yourself. At first, I ignored her rebukes and continued fighting, but I soon learned that she was not a woman to be crossed. Uh-huh. Prior to one fight, my duplicitous daisy drugged my wine. I don't remember much of what happened next, which is fortunate. From what I hear, it wasn't very pretty. You whipped, my friend. Ouch. I spent the next several months under the tender ministrations of my doting wife. Needless to say, when I was well enough to walk again, I was more than happy to settle down. I bet. As to why I became a bond master, well, it's a hard, thankless job that keeps me very, very busy. Very busy. Ah, uh, I see. Tell me more about yourself, you. Not now. Okay, fair enough. As you say, I will be here scrubbing your pots until you call upon... Yeah, I imagine we do eat a lot. Uh, hello, Sky. Always happy to help. What do you need? Broadband. That'd be nice. What's in your mind right now? I haven't been to the Imperial City in a while. I traveled here some time ago in my hunt for Gao. In fact, this is where the hunt began. Really? Why you... <laughs> hmm, what a strange place. Something to keep looking around. I've come full circle. And I yes. think it's time to let go of the past and look forward. We have exciting things ahead of us. Like you leaving? Departing for good? There's no shame in dwelling on the past. There's no point in living in the past either. True. In my heart, I know my daughter rests as easily as any spirit now. Whatever happens, I have that. And if we succeed, I know she finds peace. If I could go back, I don't know if I would. I'm a different man now, and while I treasure the past, I look forward to the future with the same warmth. 
Well, that's quite a interesting bit of growth. Okay, good for you, I guess. Is there something specific you're looking forward to? Besides seeing what trouble you get yourself into next, you mean? Yes, probably that. I'm excited to be back in the city. It feels like we're one step closer to our goal, but you know that better than anyone. Hmm. You brought us to this point after all. Who else could have gathered this crew or found such a quick way out of Tien's landing? I wouldn't call it quick, but, uh, sure. Don't discount yourself or the others. How do you manage that kind of humility? Some sort of special training? It's because it's cold. It whips against my back every time. I just take time to appreciate those who are with me. And there you have it. A simple answer is usually the best. Indeed. Regardless, we have an empire to shake up. How about you look at me when you point, you know? Let's go see how much trouble we can cause. I look forward to abandoning you. What are your thoughts on the situation? Don't start just looking in a completely different direction. My god, he's ugly. I don't know about you, but if a member of the Imperial family were leaving me gifts, I'd be mighty curious to learn more. Then again, the Scholar's Garden is full of more hot air than some flyers, so I can understand your reluctance to rush there. Hmm. Talk to you later, Sky, if you haven't run off already, and hope you do. Of course. Go away. Okay. Uh. Hi, Black. How's it going? What? What do you want? To talk to you. What are you forcing the situation? Well, the city has everything you could ever want. Fighting, money, wine, and, and there was something else that people like, but I can't quite remember what it is. That's probably a good thing. Oh, well, I'm sure it'll come to me once I've had a few bowls of wine. Let's get something to wet our tongues. That's right, they use, um... Women! That's the one I forgot. <laughs> I must be getting sober if I'm forgetting that one. Right. That's right, they have the, um, they drink out of these bowls instead of, like, cups or tankards or things like that. How, uh, interesting and odd. More likely to spill, don't you think? I'd like to hear more about your past. Too much talking and thinking can be dangerous, I should know. I remember one cold winter I took a job clearing rats from a local monastery. Hey, you gotta start somewhere. I was supposed to make sure the pests stayed out of the sacred pools, but hunting rats one at a time is boring work. So I had an idea, a way to catch them all at once. Oh no. I convinced the monks to give me some of their sacred wine, and I filled the sacred pools. I figured if I could get the rats drunk, they'd be so much easier to catch. Ah, uh, this should be good. Nothing happened at first, so I helped myself to the wine. Oh, no. I passed out before the rats came. In the middle of the night, I was woken up by screaming monks and fiery explosions. It was just the rats. The poor furry buggers were just trying to get warm near the monks' fires after their swim in the wine. Not a good combination. Oh, God. You turned them into mines. Welcome to the monastery. The monks wanted me gone. I might have deserved the blame, but the abbot insisted it was a sign from the gods and closed the monastery. See what happens when you think too much? Unfortunately. That is by far the most stupid thing I've ever heard. Whatever. <laughs> Fair enough. Hello, Wildflower. There is something here. Some evil thing has happened here. It beats on my mind and the Guardian... He... Can't... Hold it back. No. I won't let you do this. Not now. Rargh. You can't stop me from being here. I may not be able to leave, but I can talk and see. I see you, mortal. I've been watching you. You must be the other. Ha! I am Yasen, the other 
of whom Chai Ka and this girl speak. They have suppressed me ever since we inhabited this body. But this place is different. Uh huh. The evil around me has given me strength. For now, at least. And has opened potential doors. Okay, okay. I don't claim to goodness, mortal. I hate your kind. But we can work together. If you help me, I shall help you. And I'll be much more valuable than the Guardian. Well, you talk English, so that's a good start. I want nothing to do with you. You're passing up the chance for greatness, mortal. We both know you're tempted. How can you... What? No! Chaika! You won't make me go so easily! No! You stay below, Yazen. You won't harm this girl or this world. You, and you, Spirit Monk, avoid him. For the sake of this girl, do not let him out. Good night. Help her up then, Jesus Christ! Zoo. Sorry. We were fighting again. I'll be alright. Soon. Just... just give me time and I'll be alright. Bless. What do you want? Uh, what do you think of our current situation? This place is evil. I don't like it here. The people. They're hurting too. A black cloud hangs over this place. Please, don't leave me behind here. Not alone. You'll be fine. Is there anything else you want? Are you alright with the demons inside you? They don't come out very much. The Guardian protects me and keeps the other inside. When the other tries to get out, it feels like my head is going to tear itself apart. This must be very hard on you. Yes, but the Guardian has always been with me, and I trust him. The other one has been there too, but smaller. They won't say why. They say we have to be with you now. Hush, child. I will speak. Why do you have to do that every time? <laughs> why does he have to do the uh, sort of Tai Chi moments? Moments? Movements to... uh. As he comes around. Hello, Tai Chi. Hello. Uh, hush, child. I will speak for now. The child has been chosen as a vessel to allow me into the mortal realm. She is my gate into the world, and I am her protector. Why do you choose her? The amulet you carry has been hidden in the village by the last of the spirit monks, and the whole area flooded. Those remaining behind died, and it was lost forever. Hang on. What? The spirit monks? Flooded the area? They broke the dam and flooded it? Oh shit. Am I understand that correctly? But the dam had opened again. Okay. And the water receded. I am bound to protect this amulet, but to exist in this world, balance is needed. With good, evil, with life, death. Of those who died there, I had chose this one as my host. She was reborn through my power, and I with her. But balance is required that my heavenly presence have an opposite. You mean your Zen? Yes, he is within this child as well. He cares nothing for the amulet or the girl. We would break them all to pieces just to have his chance at freedom. Ha! You care too much for this whelp. Quiet. Stay inside. Do not mention these things to Wildflower, Spirit Monk. She only is dimly aware of her past and knowledge that would harm her further. What do you want? I want to talk about the demons within you. It's time you and I had a talk, mortal. You've been paying too much attention to this girl's problems and the Guardian's advice. We need more realism here. I have nothing to say to you. You know I'm evil and want to kill everything. Yes. I know I'm evil and want to kill everything. Okay. Why quibble about details? You help me and I help you. And I want out. Um, no. Not this time, anyway. The girl is already dead. She's a walking corpse. She's nothing to anyone. What I want is the body. 
I need an anchor, and this little walking meat puppet can provide that. But Chai Ka gives me trouble. Chai Ka. He's in my way. He's weak, but the girl sides with him. To take control, I need your help, and I'm willing to offer servitude for it. I won't let you harm this girl. Ha! You say that now. But when the time comes, we'll see how much power tempts you. And if you continue to refuse, I still have ways to get my revenge. Back into the darkness, Yazen. You tricked me so I wouldn't hear you talking, but no more. Spirit Monk, it is unwise to speak with him. He knows only lies and deceit. He didn't do, uh... Chai Chi, nice. For the sake of the child, have no further dealings with him. He is stronger now. Remember to force his way out or be called. Resist him. Do not listen to him. I won't talk about the demons, but uh, never mind. Do you feel these spirits here? There are spirits everywhere here in the city. Ghosts live inside of the people who remember them. Just a little. Everyone has that spark. Except for me. I have no one inside of me. Except for the guardian and the other. But some of these people, the ghosts inside them cause so much pain. What do you see in those people? The ones that hurt? The spirits have such sad stories. People don't know though. All they understand is that they feel bad, but they don't know why. Oh. When you feel bad for no reason, you might have touched one of them. The city is old, so old, and so many people have lived and died here. There are spirits everywhere. I guess I can understand why so many of them feel so bad all the time. True. But we shouldn't talk about this so much. Who knows how much will draw their attention? We should keep going. Agreed. Is there anything else you want? Nope, that's it. Okay. Poor Wildflower, she's got such a shitty situation. Both demons are as bad as each other, really. I mean, I don't know why Chai Kai used uh, a girl as an anchor. I could use anyone else, but no, it had to be a girl. I trust your plans go well, despite the dangers you face and inflict. Is there something I can do for you? Let's have a chat, Zoo. What do you think of our current situation? I think it's unwise to trust the Emperor's daughter. She acts without regard for her station, but she is a slave to it like we all are. What other truths might she have missed? She may have good information for you, but I suspect she has her own agenda. Be careful. I will answer if it suits me. Uh, what are your feelings on the Imperial City? How powerful the Elo's assassins here? They are as powerful as fear allows them to be. Not the specific information you are looking for, I'm sure, but... Nope. You did ask about my feelings. If their tactics have not changed, everyone fears them as children fear the shadows, never knowing what might come. They sound more like outlaws than an arm of the Emperor. They are not outlaws. Their orders come from Death's hand and he is the will of the Emperor. At least, that is how it was meant to be. Pardon my outburst. Every act of the Assassins has the approval of the Emperor. We were supposed to reflect his glory. That is why some actions should never have been ordered. Are you going to the instant that prompted your exit? The Lotus Assassins were once the Order of the Lotus under Prince Ken, spiritual advisor to the Emperor. During and after the attack on Dirge, changes were made. As flames seared the sky, enemies of the Emperor faced a new threat, Death's Hand. He assumed command of our Order and we began silencing people. Some were killed only to serve as warnings, others Others had done nothing except be near his enemies. You order to kill innocents? Why even consider it? I am no stranger to death. That alone is not enough to disturb me. But I see only weakness in targeting innocents, peripheral to the real enemy. 
Weakness suggests losing the right to rule. Can you see how that shook my faith in the Empire? Yes. You seem to see why I had concerns. Perhaps you might understand. I have not said everything, and I have not yet decided if I will. But I see something in you that may set things right. We will see. For now, what else do you need? That's it. Goodbye. Well, interesting. Let's talk. Oh, Kang. I forgot about Kang. We'll have to do his stuff eventually as well. Well, well. Is the Imperial City all you expected? It is quite a spectacle compared to the bulk of the Empire. The marvelous dragonfly performed perfectly. Of course. Of course. What do you think our current situation? Go explore the city. I will stay here and watch over the marvelous dragonfly. I have some ideas for making her even better. Go, have fun. I know I will. <laughs> Hello, King. I tried. We will talk later. I'll just think of some new features for the dragonfly. Maybe mole talons for burrowing. Hmm. Mole talons? Well, okay then. Oh, we need to have a chat with Dawnstar. Hello, you. The Imperial City. I'd always heard how impressive it was. The stories didn't do it justice. This is all so much to absorb. I would appreciate your counsel if you have time to speak privately. Oh, sure. What do you think about what's happening? We just have to keep going. That's all we can do. True enough. Is that, is that it? Okay, fair enough. All right. I want to ask some questions about the Imperial City. I've only been here as long as you have. I doubt I have any information you would find useful. Fair enough. Okay. Did you want to talk? Your feelings are very important to me, I guess. I don't mean to distract you. I just wanted someone familiar around me for a moment, if only to reassure me that we are still in the Empire I thought I knew. I have long dreamed of reaching the Imperial City, but now that I have, under these circumstances, I am more overwhelmed than ever. I'm glad you're here with me. We're a long way from home. But that's what is bothering me. We can't be a long way from home because our home is gone. All right, Jesus Christ. I say that what I see is strange or foreign because I have lost what I would have compared it to. I am the one out of place now. You're alienating yourself before anyone else has a chance to. Ah, let's do the top one. Then my home will be where you are, and you can stay the same for me. I... I would like that. To know you will be there no matter what. I've never had that stability. At least not before joining the school. As a child, I was marked by ill omens, apparently named for them. The people in Two Rivers were polite, but many did not hide the discomfort I caused them. I was watched, studied. If someone's ox died within a season of me bumping my head, it was somehow my fault, and I was treated like a pariah. How do you deal with being able to sense the spirit world when people make such absurd conclusions? You're asking me with no shirt? All right, fair enough. It is not your burden to try and belong when you're not wanted. I... I cannot change who I am, I know. Perhaps I just have to let all of that go. It will not be easy. But I do feel that you have given me a strength I did not have before. I very much appreciate your support. Well, you're welcome. We should continue this discussion later. I have much to think about, and our work here has only just begun. Indeed. The Imperial City. I never dreamed I would reach it. Don't go too far. I'd get lost in this city. I know it. Well, that's nice. All right, then. After lengthy chats, let's actually head out into the city. I don't know if we'll get to Silk Fox in time for this, but uh, we'll have a go. Hello, Bay the Outcryer. What a wondrous flyer you have. Yes. You don't see any of that design about the city. 
Since they became more common among the nobles, flyers have been fascinating to me. Have they? Allow me to officially welcome you to the Imperial City. I am Bai, the Outcrier, and I am here to direct you around our illustrious capital if you have any questions at all. Oh, just general questions, really. It would be an honor to say that I aided someone who was greeted by Princess Sun Lian herself. Tell me more about the layout of the city. There are several districts within easy walking distance. This area is the Market District, and it is filled with all sorts of merchants and traffic. Brilliant, okay. If you cross the waterway and turn left, you will soon come to the Gate of the Golden Way, a rich and luxurious place. Oh, lovely. The Golden Way is connected to both the Scholar's Garden at its far end and the Necropolis, though no one would venture into those burial grounds without good reason. I wonder why. Tell me more about this Samiti area. Just over there is the Imperial Arena, where you can test your skills in the finest competition in the land, or grab a drink at the heart of the Empire Tavern within. Okay, cool. Out by the waterway, you can find the city gates and all manner of merchants hawking their wares. Brilliant. Helpful. There's also a path off the market district that leads up to the Black Leopard School, home to an ancient order that studies the ways of combat. That might be useful to sort of visit. Wasn't one of the students we had at the uh, Two Rivers place? He was from the Black Leopard School, wasn't he? No, before he died. Uh, let's hear about more of the places. Uh, let's hear some more about the places off the Golden Way. The Scholar's Garden is a wonder to behold. It is decorated with rocks taken from the Valley of Sprightly Stones. The finest minds in the Empire congregate in the garden. If you have a taste for history, the Necropolis is accessible from the Golden Way as well. A city of the dead. The Necropolis is filled with tombs of rich and poor alike. In the city, that doesn't seem safe. I hate when... I hate when... The, if you go through games, you come across a city and all that, and they have the graveyard in the city, that just... That just doesn't seem safe to me. Neverwinter had this problem. They have like a whole area dedicated to it, I think. And it's just Noah's Nights. And same issue, this same thing here. And it just seems like a bad idea. Eh, that's all I want to know about the Imperial City. Was there something else you wanted to discuss? Your hat. I like it. Eh, I'll be back if I have more questions for you. A pleasure to be of service. Enjoy your stay here. I will. I will. And here we are, and a commoner. Emperor Sun Hai is a great man. Without him, the Empire would still be living in a drought. Be on the lookout for the Scourge of the South. It is your duty as citizens of the Empire to report anyone who matches this description. Keep an eye out for a bare-chested wild man with hair covering his back and arms. Okay. Reports suggest he is well over seven feet tall and really armed. This man is very dangerous. Do not try to apprehend the scourge of the South, but instead report what you've seen to the authorities immediately. Well, all these years together, and I never suspected you were the scourge of the South. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know it's not funny. At least they didn't get your looks right. Hair on my arms and back? You make me sound like the Tasmanian Devil. Loading in hair and arms on back. The scourge of the South has destroyed whole villages in the South. Many innocents have suffered at the hands of the scourge. Whole villages? I've only been to like two. Look at this place. So many people. This truly is the heart of the Empire. That is? Alright, let's have a look at the map. Hopefully it's full. It is. Okay, so we want to go to the Golden Way. There's a quest there we can pick up. There's Merchant Square, the Arena, the Black Leopard School. Let's go straight to Golden Way. I don't want to talk to anyone just yet. Alright, here's the Golden Way. Very pretty, actually. There's a couple of interesting little quests here, if I remember right. Oh my god, look at this dog! Oh my goodness, you are adorable. Alright, that's Necropolis, I'm guessing. The Scholar's Garden, the Ministry Hostel, and the Theatre Pelovian. Oh yeah, okay. Let's keep going. I'm just going to ignore everyone if we can help it. <clears throat> your parentage is below average, and your ancestry is of questionable worth. You dress yourself in the manner of a common laborer. Nobody's paying any attention. Keep trying, just as I instructed. 
Your physique seems exceptional. Clearly you are a peasant. A noble could afford sloth. What are you doing? Why attempt to insult me? Your breath is like the wind of an ox. Your last meal was of suspect quality. I mean, I didn't cook it, so probably. I ask for an explanation. Justify yourself or I will take offense. Your beliefs are superficial and your culture is substandard. Hey now. There's no point to your insults. Defend your claims or cease this instant. You are right to demand an explanation. Forgive my servant. I instructed him to find someone not distracted by mere insults. Someone who would command respect. Your demand for justification of his arguments was admirable. You are exactly what we need. Uh, okay. Explain yourself. An outlander strolled into the city several days ago and now sits like a cormorant taking what he wants from the river of our hospitality. Me? He balks at our attempts to calm him oh. and answers requests for payment with strange coins of questionable value. He needs to go. Why can't you do it? The sea hosts many visitors. Why is he so different? The Outlander is not a dignitary or traveling merchant. He is a parody of civilized behavior. He spews insults at the Emperor himself. And he's still alive? Okay. So far, he has escaped the notice of any higher officials. Perhaps he was mistaken for an actor in a troupe. But that will not last. Fair enough. If he is reported, the Lotus Assassins will take notice. They'll want to know if he was harbored or his offense was encouraged. Guilt by association is enough for them. Yes. Hello, Z-Pat. Perhaps I can reason with this outlander. That's what's so infuriating. He doesn't respond to reason. He proposes challenges we don't understand and then declares himself the winner. Several of our brightest have faced him. Oh, it's him. To get the better of him. He sets off his strange firework and says they are beaten. Normally, the peasants like it when we intellectuals are maligned, but they tire of his presence too. Getting rid of this nuisance will endear you to many. I'll teach him not to mock our culture. I hope your ability matches your conviction. Several others have fallen short, despite their outrage at his antics. He is in the Scholar's Garden, and no amount of opposition has moved him. Please, I hope you will prove to be a worthy opponent. It is him. Right. Okay, this is actually quite important. We want to do this for a particular reason. A funny one. The Minister of Culture, impressed with your willingness to stand up for yourself, has asked you to de help deal with an outlander, a pompous buffoon. This foreigner has made a habit of insulting your culture. The Outlander refused to leave the Scholar's Garden, south of the Imperial City's Golden Way District. Yes, I remember this now. Oh, it's a good one. Right, there's the Plovian. The busy streets are almost overwhelming. It is hard to keep focused on what we need to do. Suck it up, Buttercup. Scholar's Garden. I'm going to swap out... Dawnstar for... Oh, you can... Oh, okay. You can call the other one, who's a toad demon. It covers your health. Damage spirits. They're basically the same thing, but one's evil, one's good. A hideous demon using Wildflower's body as an anchor. Yazan tears through enemies with his claws and tongue. Let's take... Sky. I'm actually going to regret this, but let's take Sky. My blades are yours to command. Yeah, I'm sure they are. I didn't expect you and your strange training to make it to the Imperial City. You are proving to be a very interesting person. I swear that outfit gets tighter and tighter every time I see you. Just by looking at you, you have a very strong presence. You saying I stink? What do I call you? Soul Fox or Princess Sun Lian? As the Heavenly Lily, I am above suspicion, but I am restrained by fawning servants. Silk Fox can go anywhere, and people are not shy about their reactions. There is a thrill, of course, and it allows me to find information useful to us both. 
Death's Hand brought your master Lee to the palace a few days ago. I saw the flyer. Oh, brilliant. He was bound in chains. He must be powerful, but I still don't believe he is Sun Lee, the glorious strategist. It's him. You didn't recognize him as family? I was too young to know him. I was oh. told that he and Prince Kin, the third brother, fell defending the Empire 20 years ago. Now it seems they may have been traitors. Oh no. I discovered this looking through records for information on Death's Hand. Perhaps he tried to influence Sun Lee and Sun Kin before corrupting my father. Maybe? But it doesn't matter who your master is. I could take you to the palace, but Death's Hand controls what my father hears. He must be discredited for you to succeed. We must get to the palace. What do I need to do? Death's Hand has almost total control over my father. We must find conclusive evidence of his crimes and reveal his corruption. And I know how. Construction on the wall has stopped for the first time in generations. The workers now toil in factories building powerful creatures of stone and clay called golems. Cool. Death's Hand could use these automatons to seize the Empire and my father is oblivious. We must infiltrate the Lotus Assassins and find evidence of this treachery. I've been finding Lotus Assassins. How, how can I infiltrate them? We need proof of Death's Hand's intent from the seat of his power, the Lotus Assassin Fortress. It would be impossible to assault, so just walk in. They are recruiting. I fought a number of them. I, I would be spotted. Have any Lotus Assassins who saw your face live to report back? I doubt it. No. I don't recognize you as the person who fought them in Tian's Landing. They have a vague description full of guesswork that has guards holding people at random. Besides, they expect an attack, not someone trying to catch their eye. Fair. I would wager that you may profit from their tasks too. Can you see the beauty in using their own methods of recruitment to fight them? I think they deserve it. That's true. How can this be done? There are guilds within the Lotus Assassins. Executioners look for fearsome warriors. Inquisitors are more subversive, and they look for cunning in their agents. If you prove yourself in the arena, they will notice you. My people can spread rumors of your interest. The Executioner will take a real interest when you finish the Silver Round. Or, if you prefer, the Inquisitor Recruiter is also seeking new people. He might be open to persuasion. Okie dokie. You know a lot about the Lotus Assassins. Why? I should took Zoo, I think. Death's Hand rules over the Lotus Assassins, so I take special interest in their activities. I've had most of my life to ask questions. You suspect my motives? You have no reason to doubt me. If I wanted the Lotus Assassins to find you, I could simply tell them your name. Please don't. Hmm. I can see what I can learn in the Imperial Arena. Yes, I will have my people spread rumors of your interest. Once you pass the Silver Round, the Executioner will take an interest. I'm sure he will find you as impressive as I do. Or, if you prefer, court the Inquisitor. Ask Scholar Don Gao in the Scholar's Garden about him. I hear Don Gao is closer to the Assassins than he should be. I will wait at your flyer. Or I could travel with you. Before you get too lost, perhaps we should, uh, discuss how closely we will be working together? Okay. Travel with me now, so I can go away at the flyer. A wise preference. No offense intended to your amusing companions. A note from... oh, we lost it. And there we go! She has joined us! Interestingly, anyway. So now we have two options. The either find the Inquisitors or find the Executioners. Both are interesting. The Inquisitors are a bit more challenging, but the Executioners quite easy. I think you can do both. I don't remember. But we're going to do the Executioner one for a particular reason. I'm looking forward to showing you later. Oh, let me have a look how many points I have. I have 24 points. Perfect. This will work out well. Okay. Um, nope. That's fine. Okay. To infiltrate the Lost Assassins, you need to impress one of the recruiters. The Inquisitors favor recruits who use their brains and demonstrate cunning. Talk to Scar Dung Low. 
Galadun Lo is in the Scholar's Garden. Talk to him to catch the attention of the Inqu Inquisitor recruiter. Executioners. According to Silk Fox, the Executioners recruit primarily from test skill, like the Imperial Arena. Silk Fox has people spreading word of your possible interest and join their ranks. The recruiter for the Imperial, uh, the Imperial Lois, the recruiter for the Lois Assassin, Executioners, is usually found in the tavern with the Imperial Arena, which is located north end of the Market District. It'll take us a while to get there. Do we get any more items? Nope. That was good. So let's have a look at this. Silk Fox. She attacks with a longsword, just like Dawnstar. And do you deal extra damage with martial styles? Oh, okay. Yeah, real. That's cool. So I'm guessing that's physicals. Yeah, okay. Does anyone else just damage with weapons? Weapon style, so zoo. Okay, that's cool. Still useful. Silk Fox is an en enigmatic and she is beautiful. When her longsword is not flashing from foe to foe, she lends her skill to you. Hmm, interesting. Also, what you have now, Zimbu? Ah, excellent. I have many items just waiting for you. What is this? Okay. Oh, you sell more stuff now, do you? Okay. A cow... Beelzor? Beelzor? Used to treat conditions of the blood and circulation, a cow Beelzor forms only in the stomach of very ill cattle. Cow Beelzors are extremely rare, but many seek them for their curative nature. Sure. A vial of sulfurous water. The yellow tint water in the vial has a strong stench, similar to that of a rotten egg. And Tiger Mantra. Did I miss this or something? The tiger relies on strength and speed. It is a symbol of passion and power. In the tiger lies the, utmo the utmost physical ability of an individual. By dedicating yourself to the tiger, you strengthen your body along with your mind. Sure. Yes, that's good. The golden tongue. Oh, the golden tongue. Expensive, though. But uh, I think I have the bronze tongue. I think what I have right now is the bronze tongue, which is four. Yeah, okay. You know, I think I actually like this job better than my last. Oh, oh good for you. So you have the golden tongue. Which is plus eight, which might be a good thing to have. Uh, lightning Gem, which lets us avoid traps and gives us extra mind. And the Gem of Unity. Oh, oh nice. Plus three the body, mind, and spirit. That's nice. That's a good one. If we get more slots, that'd be perfect. But it's expensive. Maybe we could find it as we go on through the game. Alright, let's actually wrap it up there. When we come back, we're going to have a look around the uh, Scholar's Garden. And see if we can find that Outlander. It's quite important that we do that. I'll see you later. Have a good one. Bye-bye.